hi everyone welcome back to another video so today we are going to be doing a strawberry milk bath set okay but this video focuses on nail prep how to prep nails correctly and um, uh, tip application and also shaping I'm going to be doing a stiletto shape so that's what we'll focus on today okay so I have pushed back her cuticles and um, she has like some nail glue and um, you know like residue gel polish on her nails so I'm going to file all of that off but first of all I pushed back her cuticles and then I'm making use of my nail drill I'm using like a cuticle bit and I'm going around the cuticle area you do not want to you know I'm going on a, on a really slow speed so I, I really just um, fastened or you know like sped up this video so it does look like I'm going really fast but I'm not and um, so yeah I'm going to go around the cuticle try and take off as much dead skin as I can and then I'm coming in with my hand file to you know like take off that residue of nail glue and um, gel polish and then you know just finish off on that cuticle take off the shine from these nails and then i'm going to nip off any um you know like hang nails or dry skin that i have pushed back with my cuticle nippers and it's really this simple you guys this is all you want to do and then i will wipe off with alcohol as opposed to using acetone you could use acetone if you like but i just prefer alcohol to be fair and um yeah so that's really just it this nail is nice and prepped and now i'm going to repeat the same thing on this finger and then we'll move on to applying the nail tip and shaping it on how to create that stiletto shape you can definitely do this step using your cuticle scraper as opposed to using the nail drill to go around the cuticles but like i don't know if you guys could see but she had like um like i said earlier nail glue and um residue gel polish like stuck in her nails and the only way i could really get in there was if i made use of the nail drill to go around it and just take off or release that glue and um, gel polish from the cuticle and the um, nail bed nail prep is like one of the most crucial steps it's really really important that you prep your clients nails like properly before you begin an application it just helps prevent lifting and then ensures that you know the set lasts till the next time they are due for their appointment you know We're done prepping her entire nail and now I'm just going to apply the nail tips. I'm using these easy stiletto tips. I got them from AliExpress. I would leave the link in the description box. However, I'm not using the entire length so I'm going to have to cut them down and then, you know, um, reshape them, them back to a stiletto shape. But when you apply your nail tips, you want to make sure that they stay straight or in the direction that you know the um the nail follows so for instance if you've got like a crooked nail you want to sort of follow it sorry you want to sort of follow it um in that pattern if that makes any sense you want it to stay the way the nail stays because if you try to do it you know like straighten it it, it just you know looks even more crooked so that's just that by the way but yeah i've cut down the tips down and then i'm just going to use my straight nail cutter to trim up the sides of the nails and this would help me you know refile these nails back to or sorry reshape these nails back to a stiletto and i i want to do like a short stiletto set so that's what we're going to do Alrighty, so we are back and um i filed the other nails and i'm just going to show you guys how i do this um finger so when I file this stiletto shape, I want to keep my hand file at a 45 degree angle and then just file on both sides very evenly until the um, the pointy end is 
um, you know like aligned in the middle yeah until the pointy end is aligned in the middle that's when you know you've gotten your shape right okay so and you also want to measure up the length of your nail so that it matches every other um every other um finger and then also i like to file on the um or take off that you know clear surface that's that clear shine on the nail tips and this just helps to make you see your shape a lot better Okay, so again on this nail we are doing the exact same thing we're going to file on each side of the nail until we've gotten the pointy end in the middle or in the center of the um, nail and then we will take off the clear shine so that it turns white and we can sort of see our shape properly and after which i usually like to turn the my client's nail or my model's nails um, turn them backwards yeah yeah turn them backwards so that i could sort of see how um, you know the shape is if there's anywhere that i have filed more than the other i would quickly correct it before i go into application so that i don't get a wonky nail from the start Okay, so our nails have been dehydrated and primed and now for our strawberry milk bath design I'm making use of this um, I this is a self mix powder actually it's some um, soft pink I like to call it soft pink it's um self mixed but I'm going to apply a thin layer or a thin yeah a thin layer or a thin bead a small bead of the um, soft pink and then i'm just going to fill it in with flowers and fruits whatever you want to put in there the idea is to make it look like a um, sort of pink strawberry milk bath on the other hand or on her on her on her on her other hand sorry <laughs> on her other on her other hand <laughs> on the other hand i did the milk bath set plain all i mean we've all seen what a milk bath set looks like on this hand i decided to twist it up a bit and apply and do the um you know strawberry milk bath so i just used soft pink as opposed to um milk white so now i'm just going to fill up this nail with whatever i want i'm using fruits and little bits of flowers here and there and i also did apply some um glitter pigments as well just pack them in there however you want and i capped after the first layer i'm capping in milk white and then i applied a little bit of flowers as well and then i'm capping in color finally so basically what you want to do is if you want to do it this exact same way you want to put your first layer of acrylic to be um pink you know like soft pink and then the next layer to cap the flowers and the fruits to be milk white and then the final capping would be in clear so yeah we're going to repeat the exact same thing on this nail probably with different you know um, arrangement of fruits but i'm going in first with my um, soft pink and then i'm just going to randomly place some fruits just like i'm doing here and then i will cap this layer of fruits in milk white and then apply another layer of you know flowers just a little bit here and there so that something sort of um, you know like sort of shoes yeah and then i will cap in clear so if you guys are still on at this very point watching this video then do hit that subscribe button and please turn on your post notifications so you know when i upload a new video every time so back to business on some of the nails instead of capping in um, you know milk white i decided to um, you know pick up a small bead of milk white and then just dip it in pink and then just cap it in together just basically trying to still you know make that pink um you know that pink milky uh look basically i'm just trying to still keep up that pink milky look and then but 
finally be cut in clear and this is just so that we can still sort of see our fruits and then protect our design so that when we file we're not going to file off our fruits or you know file off uh, you know hard end design basically okay so we are going to repeat the exact same thing on this finger but like I said again with different arrangements of fruits and flowers and stuff and then I will go file these nails off camera and apply the stones and um, you know yeah the stones off camera as well and that's basically what it is you guys we will come back and do you know like the top coat and then maybe cuticle oil and i'll show you guys the end result Okay, so this is me just finishing up on that thumb and um, this is what the nails look like before they've been filed after the acrylic has been laid and then yep now they have been filed and I've applied the stones and um, you know like rhinestones and I'm just going to apply some um, top coats and then she'll go cure her nails in the lamp and then we'll come back and show you guys the end result of you know this nail and then i'd also show you guys what i did on the other hand of camera we're back from the lamp you guys and this is the final result Thank you all for watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications and um, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video, bye.